Good afternoon, Jovelyn. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Jovelyn, can you tell me about yourself? My name is Jovelyn A. Trejeros, 30 years of age. I have two children, the girl and the boy, and I I am exempted from Saudi Arabia. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes. Why do you want to work as a maid? Uh, I work uh, I work as a maid because uh, I have a lot of experiences than to other work. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia because uh, it's good offer than to the Arab country. How are you qualified for this job? I think I'm qualified because I, I have a lot of experiences uh, of this Okay, may I know what your educational level is? Uh, I I am a high school graduate. What was your recent working experience? My recent uh, experience is from Saudi Arabia as a domestic helper. Okay, do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. Whose babies are you taking care of? My in my employer baby, babies. How about elderly people? Uh, I small experience on. Do you have experience mother. taking care of elderly people, assisting no, elderly? No, ma'am. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Uh, cooking. Yes. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Uh, Arabic food and Filipino food. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I have mentioned to you, which do you like most? Cleaning and cooking. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your children? My mother and my father. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours? Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, sir. But instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years. Can you describe for me your attitude? Uh, obedient, hardworking, and honest. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Uh, I promise to be a good worker uh, to my employer. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while working? Yes. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulations of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. 
Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defects? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, uh, I'm fit to work, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Jovelyn, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. I can study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Yes, sir. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, Jovelyn, what will you do? I finish my contract. I continue working. Any help would you give to your family members who passed away? Uh, only uh, uh, money or I gotta send money on. Again, Jovelyn? I only send money to my family that have. Okay, if in case your employer, employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? Uh, yeah, I, if I choose you choose me. I, I am a hardworking, obedient, and honest, and I'm promise to to work hard and uh, to love your family and to treat your family as my family. Okay, and tell us about yourself again. My name is Jovelyn A. Trejeros, 30 years of age. I have two children, a girl and a boy. The girl is eight years old and the boy is four years old. And why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Uh, I work, I choose Malaysia and I work to Malaysia because of financial problem and support and also to support my family. Okay, thank you very much, Jovelyn. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.